Hi everybody. I'm doing an experiment and I just thought I would turn on the camera and if it is successful I will show you. But I saw somebody else take Tyvek. They were using sheets of Tyvek that you can buy. I don't have any but I had a, a priority mail envelope that something came in so I thought well I'll just try and recycle this. But it is Tyvek. And I'm first going to just cover it with a kind of watered down layer of high flow acrylic. Ooh, that soaked right in, but it doesn't matter. Just to get some color on it. And if you've done this before, cooking the Tyvek, let me know how it worked for you, if it worked for you. I mean, I can only assume Tyvek is Tyvek, right? I would think that Tyvek envelopes are the same, regardless of where you get them. And you might as well recycle. I love free art materials. <laughs> Especially for experiments, because if it doesn't work, then, you know, I'm not out anything. Okay, I'm just going to go with one color for right now. I don't know if this is going to work. I've seen people do it with a heat gun. I've seen people do it with an iron, but my iron is upstairs and I'm downstairs, but I have my heat tool. And I need to grab something that I can just hold on to that paper with so it doesn't fly away. And I'm just going to start heating it up. And it's going to stay in one area until the Tyvek starts to melt. And there it is. Gonna try and use this pokey tool to push it back down. And I can... This is how it does. So Stop and try to flatten it out as you go. Because every time you stop the tide, it kind of cools off and it takes a minute to get going again. Don't burn yourself, it is plastic. Look at the cool texture that's going on here.
is hot. Can you see that cool texture? So you're going to get concave spots as it melts on the side you're working on. And then on the other side, I should have put paint on both sides to begin with. But here we'll just, you can't really tell because it's got all the writing on it. from higher up and just dry the paint. I'm just going down the middle and concentrating the heat to get some lacing where the holes open up. my color when the holes opened up and exposed the inside of the paper I guess. And I just think this would be really cool on a canvas with a abstract piece. Now let me put this on this paper so you can see through it. I think you can see. Even the side that had the writing, where the writing is amongst the holes and it just looks more purpley in there because the writing was red. So, I mean, for small pieces, you certainly could recycle. Don't, don't use the unused envelopes. I mean, our government's already having enough trouble with keeping the post office afloat. We don't need to steal art supplies from the Postal Service, but when you get bags like that in your mail, th things come to you in them, save them. I'm going to wait for this to dry and then I think I'm going to use, if it's not dried up too much, I have this metallic luster gold rush. You could also just kind of dry brush with a, a metallic paint over this. But I say that it was a success. I, I like it. I really like this piece. I like this side that had the writing on it better than the other side. So if you do it, paint both sides and then melt it. And then you can kind of choose. Or if you cut it up, you can use some, you know, that are... 
because you got all those cool lines in there that would be really cool if you hit it with a dry brush of gold on this side. And then this side you have all the puffy bubbles. So I am going to let it dry and I'll add some stuff to it and then I'll show you when I'm done. One last thing, if you have a stencil cutting tool or a wood burning tool, you can go back through and can see. Wait, let me put it on here. You can distress the edges more if you want. You can put holes in where you want them. Wipe the plastic off your tool. But I can, if I don't want this as smooth along the edges, I can just drag my stencil cutter I can come in and make gouges off the edge, put holes in, wherever. So, one more thing to keep in mind. All right, let's rub some. This is kind of dry. I love turquoise and gold together though. I could see like earrings made out of this. I don't know how well this is going to stick. I may end up putting a spray over top of it just to hold it on because this is really dry. It's more like a powder than a cream now. I've had it forever and a day so can't get mad about it. Putting more kind of down in where the lacing is. had some glycerin. I saw somebody, I don't remember who it was, maybe Lindsay at the Frugal Crafter said if you put a little bit of glycerin in with your gilding paste it will help it come back, but that's really pretty. Don't you think? I'm going to put some on this side too because I don't know what side I'll end up using. But this, with the, all the lines, the lines are going to pick this up. And I'm just very randomly not really paying a lot of attention to where it's going. I'm just getting it on. definitely use that somewhere. I think I'll probably end up experimenting a lot more with different kinds of paints and inks and whatever. Maybe even putting the paste on first and then heating it. Although I don't know. Metallics you have to be careful with heating up stuff that has metallic paint so that you don't hurt yourself. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down there if you've done this and had success in what you used it for. And um, just mention very briefly, my channel now has memberships. So click that little join button next to my red subscribe button and you can read all about it and see if it's something that you might want to do. I'd love for you to join me. And in the meantime, Go make some art. Bye.